Bro, do we even go into this kind of stuff anymore? Like, we made several videos on Logan Paul already and his brother Jake Paul and Dylan Dennis and everyone knows the whole situation going afoot, if you will. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your boy Flutterbury with a brand new video today. We're going to be talking about uh, Dylan Dennis and all them boys. The Patreon link is in the description if you guys want to help support my channels. Uh, I do have another channel, my main, ch main channel is a reaction channel, believe it or not. Um, but this one, I like to talk the shit and spread the shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, we got to order operations to go on. We got to like a PEMDAS pen diagram, if you will, of the Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis situation. I can lay it all out for you real quick here. Let me see right off the top of my head. We got Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis. Fight was announced. Boom. Dylan Dennis began his trolling. Homeboy was getting psychological in the warfare. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Nina Agdow comes into the crosshairs with that psychological warfare, getting all angry and messed up and mad. Suck a fucking dick, Nina. Shut up. Nina files a lawsuit against Dylan Dennis. Boo fucking who. You couldn't stand the online trolling just like you couldn't stand having a boyfriend longer than three months. You already know what it is. October 14th in Manchester. You already know the prime card, double main event, KSI and Logan Paul. I can't wait for that. But listen, I, I, Dylan Dennis, in my opinion, he might, he might lose now. He's pissed off Logan Paul. A pissed off Paul brother is the most... I don't even know a word to describe a Paul brother that's pissed off, but for some reason, these guys are workaholics. They will go to no end. They know no bounds. Their anger is unlimited, if you understand me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> it's just it's just Dylan Dennis been making fun of Mike Malek. He's been making fun of George Janko. Been making fun of the Pauls. Been making fun of Nina. Been making fun of the Pauls mother and father jake paul goes it says listen my stance on the dilla dennis for logan paul thing uh use download the app better like what the f this whole thing's a fucking joke bro and now she's taking legal pursuit she's taking legal precedence over dylan dennis hey you can't be talking about me online like that bro shut the fuck up nina Oh my god, I got a fucking something going on with my nasal thing. So if I sound nasally today, I apologize. I got like a cold or something. Shit's been fucking me up all day. All fucking week, baby. You know what I'm saying, bro? This shit is fucking... It's not good. It's not good. A handful of divisive social media figures have allegedly been shown the picture in question, though. Uh, Andrew Tate had chimed in on this. Aiden Ross had chimed in on this. Um, the nuke photo... Everyone's saying it's been taken too far. I want to see this nuke photo. I need to see this nuke photo. We all need to see this nuke photo. Anyone who's anybody who cares about this thing. Well, first off, we should probably go get checked out because there's no reason we should really be caring about this type of shit in the first place. But it is what it is. I find this shit entertaining. The charity uh, soccer match just happened and I need something to fill the void now. And so Nina Agnell, my targets are on you. As a result of the uh, alleged lawsuit against Dylan Dennis, uh, September 6th, it might put the fight in jeopardy. Jeopardy. Humiliation, emotional distress, reputational harm is what she's claiming. She's playing the victim here. He's also saying that some associates of Dylan Dennis had hacked her Snapchat account to see some old videos. She's asking for like $150,000, $160,000 in damage to begin with. Um, it'll be interesting to see what these financial ramifications are. But holy f bro, like seriously, seriously. But it's, a, it's only a temporary restraining order, so it probably won't affect the fight very much but dylan danis is one of psychological department bro is probably the only person in the fighting boxing world that's got a restraining order against him on a person he's not even fighting related to the boxing event you know what i'm saying you know i doubt has filed a massive lawsuit against me she filed a restraining order against me and is seeking prison time so the fight is in jeopardy if i am in jail this is actually wild but i won't stop fuck the system come get me logan paul's a dead man walking i don't I don't think he, I think he knocked you out, Dylan Dennis. I'm hoping, he's a little washed up. Dylan Dennis is a little washed up, but I'm hoping Paul knocks his ass out. I, I want to see his reaction. Dude's got all these followers from this whole controversy and shit that's going down. But listen, it is what it is, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I need to see Dylan Dennis uh, knock the fuck out of Logan Paul or vice versa. I got my money on Paul because I am a Paul fan. I uh, absolutely love Impulsive. I think it's the biggest shit stir on the platform. And I love how serious people take this motherfucking clown, bro. Dude can only get wins if he books it in a wrestling match. Let's be honest here. But if Logan Paul knocks out Dylan Dennis, the whole world's gonna hate it. I'm gonna fucking love it. Every time Jake Paul knocks somebody out, I fucking love it. I did, I did, however, get a little sour when uh, Homeboy got him with the two points. But it is what it is. He almost beat a real boxer. That's the world we live in, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you're new. October 14th, the uh, 
at the AO Stadium or whatever it's called. I don't even know. But October 14th, AO Arena Manchester. I'll see you all there. DAZN.